Hello. <clears throat> Hello, guys. Uh, sorry for a little bit late start here. A little bit late. A couple minutes, I guess. Uh, how's everybody doing? Uh, let me see here. Let's get some stuff organized here. Uh, good bunch of you guys watching on YouTube. Hi, how's it going? Uh, Keegan, Rex, you, Sasquatch, Josh, Atomic Sunday. How's it going, guys? And Twitch. Let's, uh, let's see. There we are. Uh, how's it going, guys? Abyssal snowstorm. I was gonna say snowman at first. <laughs> Soul Gino, how's it going, man? Uh, let's see. Kirofuda. How are you guys all doing? Uh, we're gonna. It's uh, it's Valentine's Day here, but I realize for probably for a lot of you guys, uh, who are probably watching from the U.S. or North America, then it's probably uh, still Thursday, and it's not quite yet Valentine's Day. So, it could be Valentine's Day Eve for a lot of you out there. And uh, yes, as I'm seeing in the chat there. Uh, Josh, we are all here for the lewd parts. Yes, I'm. I'm well aware. <laughs> uh, so we'll get to that eventually. Uh, we'll build up the main body and everything first, and then we'll see all the all the fun stuff and everything as well there. Uh, Strider Prime, hey, how's it going over there? Uh, Scale model, Eric, Seth, Mister Soji, how are you guys all doing? Uh, so yeah, it's Valentine's Day here, and I'm just finishing up uh, denubbing a few of the parts because just uh, couldn't quite get everything ready quite yet. Uh, so just got a couple parts here left to clean up, and then we'll we'll get started on the build. Uh, and you guys haven't seen the unboxing yet because I'm gonna do this as a unboxing and review video all in one thing, uh, but. I'm realizing that when I was recording the unboxing yesterday, uh, yesterday or the day before, uh, yesterday, uh, when I was recording the unboxing, I realized that uh, in the during the unboxing, I was saying I was noticing that like a bunch of the parts are uh, like very really similar. Like going through the manual. Oh shit. Okay, I thought, <laughs> whew, uh, that was close. Uh, I was about to really be sad for a moment there. <laughs> I thought that I had a, an error message popped up, and I thought it said that, I thought it was saying that uh, OBS had crashed, in which case the whole stream would have just been crashed, but it was something else. That's okay. Whew. Anyway, as I was saying, when I was going through the manual, recording the unboxing, I noticed, like, oh, yeah, looking at the parts, like, it looks exactly like a frame arms girl kit build. Is it's all very familiar. So if you built any like the frame arms girl kits, they're all pretty similar. But uh, later, after actually going through the parts and stuff a little bit, in a little bit more detail, now I'm realizing it's actually more uh, of just like a copy, essentially of a Megami device kit, not frame arms girl, but Megami device. Small difference, but uh. So yeah, it's pretty much a frame arms or pretty much a Megami device clone as far as like the main body and like the the different parts of that with a, a few diff few small changes, but I mean it seems like everything is going to be pretty well compatible with uh any Megami device kit pretty much it seems like. Uh and Eric to answer your question, anything planned with the wife for Valentine's Day? Not really anything special planned. We went out for dinner last night. Uh, uh, my wife and I and the kids 
and also my wife's parents all went out for dinner last night so it's kind of like valentine's day dinner sort of uh yes riser and the thighs are thicker yes that's certainly one difference about this kit than uh the megami device and kotobukiya uh frame arms girl kits uh for whatever reason, Kotobukiya seems to have a, uh, an aversion to wanting to make any girls even remotely thick. But yes, this one at least has a, a little thickness. So yeah, we went out uh, for dinner last night, which was kind of like for Valentine's Day, I guess, sort of. Uh, but later, after the stream is done, I'm going to go out uh, for lunch and I'm going to stop by my wife's work and take some uh, take some flowers to her. Shh, don't tell her yet. It's gonna be a surprise. So, uh, this kit, and this kit has a load of hand options as well. So I'm just preparing just a few of them. Uh, I think that's actually wrong one wait so yeah uh the construction of the kit really shouldn't take all that long at all because i mean about half the kit is the entire body of the girl and then the other half of the kit is just like the weapons parts uh did my wife get me this no she did not she doesn't buy any models for me it's not like that she wouldn't it's just that she doesn't all right and i can finally crack open this coffee as well i went to the coffee shop this morning to buy some coffee and i got this like very tall massive tumbler and uh they made the coffee in the tumbler and then they gave it to me put it down on the counter and I went to grab it and just knocked it over and just spilled the whole thing <laughs> on the floor. Uh, so they were nice and made me a new one, but I felt really bad and s spilled a bunch of coffee on all over the floor and some on me as well. But all right. Uh, so as always, guys, let's see. Uh, Kiro Fuda, did we have Dakalbi? No, we didn't have Dakalbi. Uh, we went to... I like American style food place is American style hardly is it was certainly like Western style but uh, fusion I guess you could say so let me see here let's put that over there or where can I stand this up so I can see it well so it was like uh, pasta and like uh, rice Rice, pilaf, pizza, that kind of stuff. Yes, it smelled good though. <laughs> what? I would have bought this kit, but she isn't very busty, needs a bigger chest. Well, this is, as far as these kits go, this is about as big as you're gonna get, because it's bigger than most of the Kotobuki kits, it seems like. Uh, yeah, Kotobukiya is, you know, any, Kotobukiya, I guess, for their kits, they prefer the assets to be of the mechanical nature. They'll go for, like, massive guns or massive weapons, but as far as, like, massive anything else, usually not too much. And let me fix this for you guys a little bit. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, the, the parts are kind of blown out there, you know, you guys can't really see that. And I've got all the different face options here. We're only, obviously only going to use one for the time being. So, should we go with one of the lewd faces? Or just one of the standard faces? For the time being. It's not like there's too much lewd about the face. I mean, a couple of the faces that are with... Uh, like, the faces that come with the... Uh, the DX version are certainly suggestive, I guess, but 
not really particularly all that lewd necessarily. Um, okay, I want to maybe lower the gain. So adjusting my camera settings so the parts aren't blown out for you guys. There you go. And mm. but I also don't want to make it too dark either, so it's kind of hard. Let's adjust this light a little bit. Maybe there you go. Maybe a little bit better. Okay, well better anyway, so um all right what would be a good starter kit from a frame arms girl type line would you say uh rex a good starter kit um oh, i don't know like obviously one of the simpler kits like the materia or innocentia or even like the the architect Frame Arms Girl kit would, are very simple, but I'm not sure they would, they, would, it would, they would be really exciting because they don't really come with any weapons or anything. You might feel like a little bit disappointed because even those kits can be pretty pricey. I mean, for what it is, like the Materia kit or something, for example. I mean, like, uh, it's still going to cost you like around 30 bucks or something like that. And for a kit that doesn't come with any weapons or something, it'll probably f leave you feeling a little wanting. So. One of the, like the kits that are going to be a little bit more expensive, but at least come with like some cool weapon parts and option parts and things like that. I think it would probably be more exciting for you. So, uh, something like I don't know any of them, like the Jinrai or the Base Lord. What other ones have I built? Um, uh, the Baihu is really nice as well. Uh, the Baihu was a really cool one. Uh, let's see. So I think any of those would probably be would probably be pretty good but but I would say really just kind of just go for whichever design looks cool to you because uh really probably any of them are going to be fine and the other thing that I was thinking about should we go with this face like the crying face the other thing I was thinking about with the with this is doing some kind of custom modification to this. Not necessarily in like a lewd way, but um, uh, just turning it into like a specific character or something like that. So I haven't decided exactly which character it would be. But I'm just thinking about that idea. Uh, Gino asked, uh, was actually watching your HGC Impulse review for a kit bash I'm doing when I got the notification for your stream. Ah, okay. Well, thank you for watching that previous video as well and coming to watch the stream. Uh, whoever asked that Assemble Heroines is having somewhat bustful kit release. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, the, uh, yeah, those, uh, Chinese kits, uh, I, I have two of them, so I need to build th those as well, yeah, I have the, the, ha the hair cross one, the one, and, uh, actually, actually three of them, I think, actually, let me, I kind of forgot about this one. Uh, these the hair cross kit and this one what's the name of this i think this one was like by a different company but kind of like the same thing uh combat armor the angelic doll yeah so there's this one which uh here you go you guys can see that's gonna be kind of dark i know but the one that has all this stuff there that one and the Heracross and uh, one other one as well, which let's see. yeah they're in my to do list over there. This one like is like the box and even the manual has like nothing on it, so you kind of have to find what it is. Ah oh, yeah, yeah 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 yeah. This is the astray one. Yeah, so it's still a little bit different. This is that's that's why there's nothing around on the box because this is the one that builds like the. Uh, 
mecha version or the uh, musume version of the uh, astray with the giant arms and the flight pack yes right so yeah that one i don't know anyway yeah so That will be something that we'll have to build on a future stream because, yeah, I'm interested to see what those kits are like. And uh, I've got three of them now, so. Uh, best MSG minus the shotgun and handgun. Uh, best uh, of the MSG option parts? I don't know. Uh, let's see. Uh, here, we've got options whether you want to put in the devil horns or some just like hair buns uh, so we're just gonna put on the horns I think maybe for now or should we do one hair and one horn oh, there we go a little bit tricky to get on there and we have these little bits of hair in here as well which one is which here we go. Like that, and this side. So I was also thinking that it's kind of unfortunate uh, that the very first like uh, Musume kit that I'm building live is not a Kurobukiya kit. I think it kind of would have made sense to like... Because I think for people who are maybe sort of interested in the line and maybe would like to see the live build process of what these kids are like, what these kits are like, probably would have been better to uh, live stream build, at least for the first one, uh, something from Kurobukiya. How does this go on here? Okay. But it's essentially going to be kind of the same thing, but I'm not sure about if the quality is going to be the same. Uh, like fitting issues and all that, so we'll see. So far, this seems right, and this is kind of not wanting to plug into there. Yep. Yeah. 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 It's kind of hard to get this piece into place because you need to push it like the peg here you need to push into place is like on a part where that like, you can't get a good you can't push it easily in because your thumb is just going to slide down the side of the part because it's like on an angle so it's kind of hard there we go to push that into place but i finally got that and let's see where's the face we're going to use this one the time being and I think uh, the manual says to put the horns on first but it seems like they're gonna kind of be in the way putting the bangs on so I'm gonna go ahead and put the bangs on first before we put the other horn on also noticing that here on the hair one of the seam lines in the hair is not really in a very convenient place uh, Kodobuki is usually good at hiding the hair seam lines so that they look natural. Just like natural uh, parts in the hair or like pieces of hair. <laughs> but this one at least uh, has a pretty unnatural seam line there in the hair. So that's not so good, but it's a pretty minor thing. Uh, why get a girlfriend when you can build a girlfriend? Yes. It's a, it's an idea. What I love is like uh, I I follow a bunch of Japanese modelers on Twitter, uh, and uh, so I'll see like the stuff that they retweet as well. And so I occasionally see like some stuff that they retweet, and it's like from these guys who are like. Uh, so I've seen it done with like uh, Kodobukiya kits, like Frame Arms Girls and stuff. But more typically, they're like with like doll kind of kits, like the larger. I think. Uh, they're a larger scale. I don't, I'm not sure exactly what the scale is on it. They're like one one sixth or one fifth scale or something like larger 
sort of dolls anyway anyway the the guys that will like dress them up that will like make like custom clothes for them and stuff and then like take them out for like photo shoots and stuff like outside or like take them with them when like they travel places and stuff and like take photos of them like dressed up in like custom clothes outside that's a bit much for me <laughs> for me personally i mean whatever you're into you know if that's what you're into then cool but yeah i don't know it's not necessarily like building a girlfriend it's just building something cool i guess Uh, this kid is giving you a bunch of Fantasy Star Online vibes. Well, we do have the Fantasy Star Online Gene Kit, which was one of the options to build today. But everyone opted for this one. This is the one got. I, need, I haven't checked the vote totals this morning, actually, but last I checked, uh, last night, this one was getting almost 50% of the votes among the four options. So it was pretty clear which one you guys wanted to see. And it's pretty clear the reason why. Uh, I can guess anyway, but whatever the reason, I need to build and uh, review all of them anyway, so it didn't really matter to me which one is first. Uh, the other interesting thing about these, this particular kit and the, the next kit coming out in the line, the Kraken dress coming out later this year, uh, compared to Kotobukiya kits, is that they're they're produced in a pretty small amount. Uh, like, cause I think just probably cause it's a pretty small company, but I think that's another reason why these kits are maybe are of particularly a little bit more interest maybe for some of you guys is because uh, they're not like, they're not going to be the easiest kits to get. Uh, just being that they're pretty limited production. So maybe like it's the kind of thing that you want to you want to see if you really want to get it because if you really want to get it then you need to get it before it's really hard or really expensive to get. It's like the the uh, the first production run of this kit sold out real quick, and uh, so I, this is, this one that I have is one of the second production runs. So that's why I'm getting it later than than maybe most so there's there's been other reviews of this like out on youtube and around for a little while for a few months because i'm getting it from the second round production uh you got yeah, so it was the riser and said i got the kraken dress pre-ordered so i can get the first run bonus because leds oh the first run bonus of the kraken dress comes with leds i did not know that i i have it pre-ordered as well so i'm i'm looking forward to that I don't quite like the design quite as much as this one, but it still does look pretty cool. Uh, Terry T, uh, where did you get the DX version? I, I just got it uh, when it came out. Like I said, it was the production run here. Let's see. Sorry, hang on. Uh, this is the second production run. They they did a, a second production run of both the standard and the DX version. So I just opted for the DX version just uh, because, I've, as I explained in the unboxing review, again, which you guys haven't quite seen yet, but uh, uh, the reason why I opted for the DX version was just because so that you guys who are interested in the kit can see if you necessarily want to get the DX version or not. Uh, at least if you can see everything that you can know, okay, well, then that's not necessarily... Uh, I don't really care to have those DX parts. Which, honestly, it's pretty minimal what you get with the DX version. And it's a pretty substantial cost increase. It was like 15 or $20 more expensive. $15 more expensive, something like that. Uh, for like a couple of parts, pretty much. Not a lot. Uh, all right, so you have this part, and then this part here, which covers, you know, like, you have this breast part, and then this part which covers it up is actually, like, a softer kind of rubber part, interestingly. 
I'm not sure necessarily why they did that. Maybe that will just make it stay on easier. And this tiny little red ribbon part, which will go in the front of that. Uh, it's supposed to anyway. Let me see. Oh, and also, uh, I think as I mentioned, when was that? In the news video, I think on Monday, I mentioned that there would be another Barbatos work in progress this week, uh, but that ne needs to be postponed. So no Barbatos work in progress this week because I had a big problem yesterday and this part doesn't really want to stay on there very well which is fine, I guess, but uh, I had a big problem yesterday. Uh, the first problem was uh, I was doing the final assembly. Thank you, Kirfuda, for the support there on Twitch. Uh, I'll show you guys. I was doing the final assembly for my Master Grade Giradoga yesterday. This is just for a commission, but uh, just put the finishing touches on this yesterday. I'll give you guys a little look at that. I'll do a proper video showing this to you guys later on. But yeah, there's that. Uh, later this afternoon, I'll record a video just showing that for you guys. Uh, but yeah, when I was doing the final assembly for that yesterday, I was having some real trouble with the the rubber pipe parts for that. It was just really giving me a big headache. So that was fun. And then uh, I was have and then like in the afternoon, I was editing the unboxing and review video for the Dugram kit, which we built earlier this week. And after spending like an hour and a half or two hours or something like that, just editing that video and everything. Then my uh, hard drive was having problems and that whole edit went away and a bunch of files all disappeared. Uh, so last night I was working on that and I was able to get all the files back but uh, need to completely re-edit that video. So this afternoon, instead of working on the Barbatos, I have to spend time re redoing the edit of the uh, Dugram review. So, yay! That's fun. Um, let's see. And hang on. This part is kind of like... Mm, needs to go together a certain way. And I didn't really put it together the right way, it looks like. So yesterday was kind of a big mess that cost a lot of time unnecessarily that I was planning to spend today working on the Barbatos. So unfortunately, I need to do those things first. But next week, I should be able to spend a good amount of time working on the Barbatos and hopefully finish that next week. I mean, there's really not a whole lot left that I need to do for that. All right, there we go. Uh, and also the uh, notch in kits that I'm working on. And you guys hopefully are working on your notch in kits as well. So hopefully your work's going well. Working on your notch in kits for the contest. Uh, yeah. All right. Uh, so let's see. This one. Let's see. These parts need to go. It's kind of difficult to see how this needs to go in the manual, so I'm trying to pay attention to what I'm doing here for a minute.
Again, it's pretty much the same as a normal Megami device kit, but just slightly different enough. I just want to make sure that everything is going together the right way. And this part here. You actually have two different options for kind of the hip joint connector. Basically a, a flesh tone or a black part for that. And then another little red bow tie there. And connect the top and bottom half of the torso. Now this is often a weak point of all of these kits is this ball joint between the top and bottom half of the torso. When moving the kits around, and stuff it's a point where that I notice often comes apart so hopefully this is a pretty tight fit there so that's not causing any issues but there we go there's that and yeah this part here on the chest doesn't really stay on very well it comes off very a little bit too easily it doesn't fall off when it's shaken so I guess that's good but it doesn't look right because it looks like it's about to fall off and just kind of loose held on there. So not really too happy about that. I'll have to see if I can maybe uh, alter that part of it, uh, form that part of it so that it fits better. All right, anyway, uh, let's get these legs built. So uh, how long does it usually take for you to fully, to do a fully painted build? Uh, Terry, to answer your question, it really depends a lot. <laughs> I mean, uh, it depends. There's a lot of de depending factors to answer that question. I mean, if it's just a, like a high grade kit, that I mean, even if it's just a high grade kit, there's still a lot of different factors because some high grade kits have, take a lot of work before you can get it ready to do the painting because you need to uh, do a lot of seam line removal or maybe modifications to be able to uh, take certain parts apart for painting, separate parts for different uh, color separation, like modifying joints or something like that to be able to remove the joint. So, uh, but ultimately, I mean, like if it's a pretty straightforward HG kit with only with like minimal seam line removal parts, uh, with, you know, only a couple of seam lines need to remove. So like, you know, I could do that within a week just to, to finish an HG kit if I was really working on it a lot and like not working on a lot of other stuff. Uh, but that same project could also take like up to a month to do simply because I, I'm typically working on a lot of other things at the same time. Other works in progress and also just like everything, like this kind of thing, like other YouTube stuff, right? So, uh, so a lot of things that I, I wouldn't say get in the way because that, that kind of has a negative context to it. I don't mean that things get in the way, but there's other things going on that usually make uh, painted builds. <coughs> Sorry, make painted builds take longer than they they would if I was just only focusing on doing that. So, like for example, that uh, that Gyarados is a kit that I've been working on for much longer than I really needed to. I mean, I could have finished that a long time ago if I would have like only focused on that and nothing else. For example, and the same thing like with the Barbatos and. Uh, things that I'm working on like for example uh, earlier this week just a few days ago when I posted the video showing off the uh, the finished G40 kit my painted G40 there's a couple people in the comments it was strange because it was like right after another so I it almost seemed like the th kind of thing where someone commented something and then logged into a different account and then commented the same thing again uh, but the comments weren't exactly the same, but they were just similar. It was just kind of a funny coincidence, I think, that uh, two people commented very similarly right around the same time. But two people commented uh, on that 
they just said uh, finally, or like that it was finally finished working on the G40. And like, yeah, it's a pretty simple kit that really shouldn't have taken all that long to put together. But I think people just don't like realize that how much time it also takes to run a YouTube channel at the same time. Like, I'm not only focused on doing that, so, you know, I don't get too upset about it when people say stuff like that, but it's just kind of funny how people don't really consider that. And this part is not wanting to go in there very well. Uh, are you going to do more giveaways during streams? Uh, Josh... Yes, am I going to do more giveaways for the stream? It's a very good question because uh, tomorrow, I think, is the release date for the FAS, the Mastergrade uh, uh, FAS Verka. It's coming out tomorrow, and we're doing a giveaway for that kit when I do the live stream build for that probably next week. So, yes, uh, we'll have a Mastergrade FAS Verka giveaway during that live stream. And this part is really pissing me off why it's not going in there when it's supposed to be. Maybe you better plug it into the other side first. Now see, if it's into the other side, perfectly fine. <sighs> okay. Uh, so yeah, that is once again uh, being provided by Patrick, who I don't, I haven't seen him there in the stream today, so I don't think he's here at the moment. Uh, but certainly a big thank you to Patrick for that. So, uh, yeah, the kit is releasing tomorrow, so hopefully mine will be delivered on either Monday or Tuesday, so probably the, like, Wednesday at the earliest would be that live stream next week, but I imagine maybe possibly Thursday or Friday. Uh, because once I get the kit and then I need, then I need to record the unboxing video, which doesn't really take all that long, but, uh, then also need to just get all the parts prepped for doing the live stream ahead of time. And that's going to take a while uh, because obviously the kit has a lot of parts. So the full double Zeta Verka plus all the Faz parts on top of that. So it's like kind of, it's going to be like two master grades in one with all those parts. So. Uh, it's going to take a while to get all the parts ready, so probably more like likely that it'll be like Thursday. Probably I'll try to get it ready by Thursday of next week. So yeah, we'll have that. And that's the only other one that I have planned at the moment for another giveaway. But for that one too, also ahead of time, I'm going to think about the questions. Try to prepare some of the questions for the the quiz of that live stream because I'm going to do it the same thing like I did for the Barbatos, having it like a quiz. <sighs> and another part here that's kind of not wanting to fit together well. Uh, okay, but I can see the issue here anyway. Hopefully that fixed it. Uh, so th there's this part. You guys, have, if you've ever built any of the Frame Arms Girl Megami device kits or anything, you should be pretty familiar with this kind of part. Usually between the upper and lower thigh, there's like a disc kind of part. And this one, on that disc part, there's this little kind of red button part that needs to attach onto there. And I kind of don't really know why they didn't just mold this all as one piece, but for whatever reason, it's a separate piece. And it doesn't really want to fit onto there. We'll put this together. I'm afraid that when I s push these parts together, something is going to cause pressure and it's going to cause that tiny part to sh shoot. Oh, fuck. It's going to cause that part to like shoot out across the room. 
hopefully not. And why is this not going together? Fucking hell. What the? What the hell? Ah, there we go. Ugh. Why was that so tight? And yeah, that part there on the front really feels like that's going to be lost at some point. Uh, hopefully not. Anyway, all right, we'll finish the foot. And then I've also separated out the parts here for the alternate foot. So, hang on. Where's the bottom of the foot? Oi. Where is that piece? It's not that. It's not that. It's not that. Did I put it in the other place? What the hell? Oh. No. There it is. I had it wrong. Okay. Anyway. Hmm. Remind me later. How are you guys doing on your Nachin contest, by the way? Uh, those of you guys who are participating in the Nachin contest, give a holler there in the chat. And uh, what are you guys working on? Share your ideas if you're if you're comfortable. I don't think anyone's gonna like steal your idea if you make it known. But. Share your ideas, what you're working on, like a Zaku version, Nachin, or something like that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, what contest? The Nachin tank contest. You, you, you know, you know, the contest. The Nachin contest that's going on. Not working on anything like that, but I'm waiting to get my hands on the Mega Man X armor kit. Okay, tacos. Waiting for the Mega Man X armor. Fair enough. Uh, I know. I saw uh, that. Uh, I saw that kits and it looked pretty cool not sure yet but i was thinking a notch in megazord turning my notch in into a spider tank okay that's a cool idea uh working on my notch in now while watching i'm bashing it with the petitrits kit that's an interesting idea sounds interesting greetings from portugal uh gustavo hello to you out there in portugal never been to Portugal, but would love to go. Hopefully, get the chance someday. Um, so, also, if you guys are familiar with building these type of kits, you know that uh, typically what you do is you build up like the full body first, and then you go in and build like all of the different armor parts and things like that separately. So uh, building this alternate foot part, this is like the more armored version of the foot. You build it a little bit later after the full body assembly is done, but I just went ahead and just built that now at the same time. So uh, it definitely looks a lot better than like just this plain ass foot. So let's just go ahead and put this on straight away like that. It's very interesting look for that foot boot there, but all right build up the other leg and hopefully won't have any issues this time uh, still waiting for my notch in okay I so I've got the, the three different notch in works in progress that I've got going at the moment and the other day I had an idea for a fourth one, so I think I need to start a fourth <laughs> work in progress notch in just because uh, number one, it'll be pretty simple and won't really won't really be something that 
requires a ton of work, I don't think, but I oh, you know, if you guys are have ever done any sort of like custom work or anything like that, kit bashing or anything like that, you probably all are very familiar with that same thought. You go into a project thinking, oh, this will be pretty simple, you know, it won't take very long at all. It's something I can just kind of knock out pretty simply. And it ends up taking a lot longer than you expected because you end up just wanting, getting all sorts of more ideas and things and you just turn it into something a lot more than you had in mind from the start. Which is not necessarily a bad thing because usually, you know, it ends up coming out looking cool, but the idea that you can finish a project quickly is a dangerous idea that almost never actually works out, at least in my experience. I'm, sh I'm sure you guys can relate. The focus on the face is really bad, Zach. The focus on the face? My face? Or the focus on this face? You mean uh, just like the exposure? As I can see yeah, on the monitor, the, the it's blown out. But the problem is, I don't... Why is it doing that? Because on this side, it's really overexposed. And on this side, it looks too dark. So just the lighting is just not good enough. Sorry. Um, not really sure what I can do about it. I can turn on this other light, which is going to be super bright. But then maybe I can adapt for that. Hang on. Um, Alvin asks, how does this kit compare to Megami device in terms of build quality? Uh, not quite as nice as a Kotobukiya kit, which is pretty expected because it's not an established company like Kotobukiya. So obviously they're probably not working with as advanced technology and production processes as Kotobukiya does. But uh, I mean, pretty similar. It, it's not going to be exactly quite as nice, but I think it's pretty good. Yeah, the, I, I know the light exposure is high. So, all right, let me try this. Let's bear with me for a moment. We'll turn on this light, which is going to flood a lot more light into there. But then the problem is, is this side. Deny. Let me see what I can do here. That's too fucking bright, though, for me. Yeah, I don't think that's gonna work well. And then I can turn the and can turn it down here. But no, that's not gonna be good. Fuck that. Uh so we'll have to make this work. Let me see. Bear with me for a moment, I'll see what I can do. Cause I don't want it to be too dark over here in comparison, but Let's see. I mean, how's that? You can see the face a little bit better, it looks like. Uh... Anyway. It's a little better, or now it's too dark on this side? What do you guys think? What do you say? Okay, anyway, you get the idea. You can see what's going on, right? It's good? Okay, good enough. Obviously, I'll have like the review where you guys will be able to see everything in like really good detail, but at least for the time being, <laughs> at least you can see, you know, relatively well what's going on then. Hopefully it's okay. 
All right. Uh, and we got this part. This one here. And all right. I tell you though, the one thing that I'm looking forward to today is is uh, uh, because it's Valentine's Day, and I mentioned earlier that after this, I'm going out for lunch, and I'm gonna also pick up some flowers and take them to my wife at work. At her work, obviously. <laughs> uh, the added bonus for myself is that I'm going out for lunch, which is a nice change of pace because typically I just eat lunch here at home by myself. Well, I'm going to be eating by myself anyway, but, uh, or maybe I'll take my lunch to my wife's work and eat it there. But anyway, my point is, is that, uh, these days, usually for lunch, I'm just eating like salad here at home, which is fine. I like salad. I'm eating it because I like it. And also as the added bonus is that it's also good because I need to lose some damn weight, uh, if I can is not going very well but uh today because i'm going out i'm going to this uh, really nice sandwich shop and gonna get a sandwich there i'm really looking forward to because it's a very good sandwich place it's not like best of sandwich ever but like nice sandwich places here in korea are not very easy to find kind of few and far between uh so, when you've got one, it's a good time. If you're a sandwich man, and I certainly am. Big sandwich fan. <laughs> Josh, thank you. Is that a sandwich tip? Oh, man. I appreciate it. Uh, why don't you take your wife out to lunch? Uh, I can ask her if she wants to go. If she wants to go, I don't. I'm pretty sure she can't go out for lunch. She's probably quite busy. They're usually really busy there all the time, uh, which is good for their business. But yeah, I don't think she will be able to go out for lunch. Uh, but she might possibly be able to... I don't know what they, they have. And they usually like have something planned for lunch as well, too. So I don't know what they have planned if she wants a sandwich as well. Yeah, I'll ask her if she, if she wants a sandwich. It'll kind of spoil the surprise of showing up with flowers. But if she's only expecting me to show up with a sandwich and I also bring flowers, I think it'll probably still be a good effect anyway, I suppose, right? Uh... Mr. Soji said the cat kit has horrible nub marks on her legs. Oh, that's no good. But uh, thanks for the heads up. That's also on my to-do list. And the reason why I didn't include that kit in the poll, so maybe some of you guys weren't aware of this, but uh, I posted a poll yesterday morning, I think it was, uh, about which kit you guys wanted to see me live build today. And this was the one you voted on, so this is the one that we're building today. Uh, there was uh, three other options, but I didn't include the cat kit in there simply because it's a pretty simple kit, it looks like. Not really a whole lot of parts, so I figured it would probably be a really, really quick and really fast build compared to these other ones, which would give us like a substantial amount of kit to build to have a good stream. Uh, but I will probably build that cat kit uh, on live stream probably next week or something. I'll plan that, maybe to do in like the beginning part of next week. Uh, we'll do that before the Faz comes in. And this... Can we get this other leg onto here? Or do I need to... Let's see. Uh, drop down that part a little bit before we can get this other leg on. There we go. Oops, got all sorts of stuff falling off. Oh, I'm trying to do this. All right, so the little rib.
ribbon there fell off, the shoe fell off, and now the kneecap also fell off. So we're having some parts falling off of here, which is not a good sign, but I was kind of shaking the kit a little violently there while I was trying to get that leg on. Oh. Okay. It's getting a little bit annoying now, though. That part, that little ribbon on the front of the crotch, definitely going to want to glue that on. And yeah, this part there, so. Alright. Anyway. What the fuck? Uh, let's see. Ah, Patrick is here now. Patrick, I think you would maybe just arrived. We were just talking about you not long ago. Or maybe you've been here the whole time. But uh, we were talking about the Faz giveaway, hopefully next week once the kit arrives. But uh, you finally ordered your first Frame Arms kit last night. So what did you order? What did you order for your first Frame Arms kit? I'm curious. Because someone was asking earlier what would be a good recommendation for a first kit. Uh, first, like, uh, Megami device or frame arms kit to get, so. Wondering, curious, which one you picked for your first one. Alright. Uh, looks like a blue tack heavy kit for you. Yeah, Oak Tree, it's a. Uh, Seems like it's going to be one of those kits that once you are putting it together, you're not going to want to do a whole lot with it uh, without at least putting some work into it there, whether it be you know just gluing some of the parts or you know going through all the painting process and everything. But if you aren't planning on painting it, then you might definitely want to just go ahead and glue a few of the parts just so you don't have anything falling off. But the uh, arm is very simple, very straightforward, but it's kind of the same thing for Megami device kits. We do have some parts we're going to add on to that later, but just for the time being, that's all it is for that. That's very quick, easy. Any recommendations on kits other than Gundam? Uh, Justin H. Dan uh, whoa, where did that go? Justin Smith. I don't know. Why did I say Justin H? Justin Smith. Uh, other kit recommendations other than Gumpla? Uh, what kind of stuff are you into? Like, for example, like the uh, Kotobukiya Zoids HMM line of kits from Kotobukiya are really awesome kits. If you're like a fan of like the Zoids kind of designs. Uh... Those are really cool kits. If you wanted something that was like still like a giant robot, kind of similar to a Gundam, then uh, the Kotobukiya Armor Core kits are also pretty cool. Pretty solid, tons of detail, at least from my very limited experience. Um, what else? Uh, if you want something you know, it's a little bit more unique. You could try out uh, Machine and Krieger kit, but those again are going to be uh, kits that are kind of made to be painted. They're not really like Gundams in like that you can paint it and or you can build it and you don't really need to paint it to have it looking cool. Like Gunpla kits you know, look pretty good just straight out the box without doing any work at all on them. Something like Machine and Krieger or something like that though is something that you're you're definitely going to want to paint or do some work on it to get it to to look like anything. Straight out of the box is going to be pretty plain, similar to like a military model or something like that. It's just going to be kind of not really looking like anything if you don't paint it. Uh. <coughs> uh, let's see, what did you say? Um, Uh, Patrick, you just got here and you picked up the Hersfelger RE. 
Is it design? Hive is with me. I, I guess you mean Jive is with me. Uh, but the Hersvelger. Yeah, that's... Uh, I've built the Hersvelger bikini version, but not the original Frame Arms Girl Hersvelger kit. It's on my to-do list. And in my to-do stack there. Uh, so I also need to build that one at some point. So now we can start on like all the weapons parts and everything, which we have a ton of parts for. So let me just get all these out here. I didn't really, all the parts for the weapons and everything, I didn't really organize them, separate them like, here's all the parts for this part and here's all the parts for this part. I just kind of put them all together. So it's gonna be kind of messy here for the moment. Uh, it would be oh, uh, dark pit two. Dark pit two. Also asking what would be a good frame arms girl kit to start with. Uh, we were discussing this dark pit. We were discussing this a little bit earlier as well, and just kind of been going kind of back to this every now and then. Uh, really, I think probably the best advice I could give you for. A first frame arms kit is just get a get a a kit that looks cool to you, because they're all going to be pretty much similar. Uh, I don't know of any offhand that I know like people have a lot of complaints about. Actually, the only the only kit that I've really heard people like multiple people voice any complaints about and actually I think it's probably the Hersvelger <laughs> just because of the weapons and everything being very cumbersome and heavy that it has weight issues with like actually being able to hold any of the weapons and stuff if I remember correctly that's what I've heard about their Hersvelger kit so you might have trouble with that Uh, my first frame arms girl was the Jinrai and way too many weapons. Yeah, uh, that's another one that's in my to-do list. Uh, the regular Jinrai or the Indigo version, uh, as well as the, uh, the Jinrai, the Jinrai and weapon set, the new one, like the red version of the Jinrai that comes with that weapon set with like all the, like the clear parts and stuff. Got both of those in the to-do list. And yeah, especially the weapon set version just has a ton of stuff to build for weapons and things with that. Mm. Josh H, thank you again for your support there, for your contribution. And to answer your question, what's the, what's your opinion on the Build Divers dolls? Um, like the, uh, what was it called? Doll, Mobile Doll May and like those. Uh, I don't really like the design of them, especially the face. The problem is just the face. Bandai, for those kits, I don't know what, I don't know what's the reason or who is the reason, who is the designer behind them, but the faces just always look goofy. They just don't look good. They need to get a new person to do the design work for the face, at least just for the faces of those. So, you know, whoever's doing the body designs, whatever, like, it's fine. But have someone else do the faces because they just always look weird. Uh, that's one reason why... Uh, in my like best kits of the decade video, where I wanted to choose one of those kits, uh, not necessarily because if they were all bad, I wouldn't have chosen any of them. But uh, one reason why the uh, what is it, the Diver Nami kit is especially good is because it finally it's like the only one that has like a good face on it. Uh, and then just the rest of the kit is also pretty good as well, but. Uh, first and foremost, the face is uh, at least a good design on that kit, whereas the other, a lot of the other ones just not good. Uh, yeah, so yeah, that is the the nice version with like the mobile doll May, and then was mobile doll Sarah was the other one, right? That also have like the alternate face, which is just the robot face, which you can make instead of like the like human uh, human sort of girl face on it 
yeah, those definitely look better, like the all robot face. But in, in that case, it's a little bit kind of different thing. But so I haven't built and don't plan on building either of those kits, uh, just because, especially on the mobile doll May, which is the recent one that just came out. Uh, I uh, I just don't really like the design of like it's not only the face but the rest of it I just don't really care for either. Uh, there's some parts of the design I think that are kind of okay, uh, but even the weapon being based off of the sumo the mobile sumo's handgun is weird. I love the sumo and I love turn A in general, but that's that is a goofy looking gun. Uh, it's. And so it's not something that I would want for anything, pretty much, other than the sumo. So, alright, let's build some of these weapons here. And one thing that I really like about the weapons of this kit is that they're kind of, like, designed like feathers. They look kind of like feathers on this, like, big metallic, like, metal dragon head. And you've got these big red feathers on it. It's a cool look for it. Uh, Alright, so we have a left side and a right side, so we'll build one side first here. Uh, Super Gucci said, keep up the good work, and your videos got me back into Gunpla. Well, thank you for your support. I will keep up what I'm doing, you know, whether it's good or not, I suppose is subjective, but I'm glad that you like the stuff that I'm making and putting online. I appreciate that. I'm glad that you got it back into Gunpla. I've said this before at other times, but I'll say it again anytime it comes up. Is that it's always interesting to to hear from people that, um, uh, at least from what they tell me, that I am the reason or at least part of the reason that they got back into Gunpla or that they got into Gunpla in the first place. It's a weird thing to hear. Not that I'd like don't like to hear it or something like that but uh, it's just something that I like never would have expected just like from doing what I'm doing because you know I wouldn't recommend it just because it's uh, very cringy but if you guys have by chance ever seen my uh, the video like my very first video here on my channel my introduction video it's uh, quite cringy indeed but at any rate uh, what I said in that video was that I just wanted to make videos at first just like showing some kits that I think weren't really getting a lot of attention on YouTube like the P Bandai kits and uh, third-party bootleg kits and things like that which I had a few few of at the time like the MC kits and stuff like that uh, that was like my original intention and uh, what I wanted to do, you know, just just sharing stuff. I wasn't really planning on being like a kit reviewer or something like that necessarily. Uh, and I never would have expected, because like I had seen, I'm sure, like people saying that about like people like Robert and Henry back at the at the time. People saying similar things to them, like "Oh, you're the reason like I I got it in, I got into Gumpla," or "You're the reason I started painting Gumpla," things like that. Like to Henry, obviously, uh, Robert didn't. You ninety nine percent of the time, I don't think Robert was painting his kits right. But uh, I at this as the start of my channel, that was never my intention to get to that point. And never would have expected to hear people saying like that kind of stuff to me. So, it's weird, but you know, it's it's cool that it worked out, I guess, right? That you know, helping or at least uh, setting people on the path to get into Gumpla. That's cool, and I'm able to do it as like my job. <laughs> <laughs> Never would have expected that. Ugh, this is not good. So you plug these parts onto the knee. The whole kneecap part came off. That's not good. So this is seems like it's going to be another part you're going to want to glue. And I might even go ahead and... This is something I never do, but I might even go ahead 
and glue a couple of these parts before the review just because I'm not going to try to deal with this recording the review with this part just coming off constantly. It's not going to be an enjoyable experience. Uh, so you, you went to put your boy to bed and missed half the build. Well, you can always rewatch it later. And uh, good on you, at least, for going and putting your son to bed. That's a, That should be a priority anyway, so. All right, uh, then we got the, our tongue, tongue part here. So here's just the, the basic tongue part. And of course we have the lewd tongue option part as well. But we'll maybe see that a little bit later. Oops. Where's this other piece? Here we are. So it looks like the tongue has some like extending action. Like a xenomorph style. You can extend the tongue out there like that. Shoop. In and out. So that's pretty cool. I would have expected that it's just uh, like an option piece. Like if you want to have the tongue, you just have to open the mouth and plug in the tongue. Like it's just like a, a part swap, I guess, basically. Uh, I wouldn't have expected that it was like an actual just movable piece that you just slide in and out. So that's like always stored in there in the head. So that's kind of interesting. But all right, there's that. And then let's see, we've got this part here on the front of there. Should go cover that up like that. Okay, very nice. And then uh, this part here that will plug onto there like that. And part four the head, kind of the jaws of that. There's that. Oh, it's the <laughs> Ratif. You just remember that it's the DX version? Oh, yes. Well, this, this face that you're seeing, that's one of the DX faces on there. Mm -mm -mm -mm. And lower jaw yeah so there's the mouth so that'll open up and then you can extend out the tongue like that so there you go very interesting uh, we're not quite done yet with that though we have a bunch more parts here to plug onto here so first we need What? What the? Ah, okay. This one on here. Hmm. And so tooth part, where is that? Uh, this one? Yeah. Ouch! Oops. <laughs> Just poke myself with that part there. Alright, so that goes there. And then this part on this side, and... The opposite part is here on the other side. So that's pretty cool. This part in there for like this kind of mask part there on the front, you have a red piece inside of there which you can see through. So you can see the red through the holes there on the front of there, which is pretty nice. Nice bit of color separation there for that. 
so there's that. And then uh, we're meant to open this up and then place these parts inside here. Uh, and this is going to be a little tricky, it looks like. This is meant to like slide into there. Oops. Alright. It's going to be kind of hard to do on camera because I need to see what I'm doing. Alright, hang on. I need to see this up close. Yep, there we go. Uh, the reason I'm go I'm getting the HGC impulse is to do a build fighter style kit bash with the HG double X. Okay. So sort of similar to like the uh, Artemis Gundam from the mobile game, which is like kind of a kit bash of like the Gundam X and the Destiny, right? So you're doing it kind of similar with the Double X and the Impulse, sort of like a Artemis 2, which there there's supposed to be an Artemis 2 coming out in the game. I don't know when that update is, but there was the when they had it like last month or something when they had that meeting for like uh, influencers in LA. They showed that off. I remember. It looked more like it was using the freedom or strike freedom or something. The freedom, maybe? And something else. Mm. Uh, DT Warrior, what's up? Uh, Speedball Haro in there, hello, also as well. All right, uh, so let's finish off our dragon head here. So we got those parts in, and then we need to build the connection part for that. So that's just going to be like that. Seems a bit weird, but fair enough. Um, we've got this. So it's that. We got this piece and these. like this like that uh, this is gonna plug onto there and this one onto here it looks like oops Just in love with the big dragon fist, or whatever it is. Yeah, bunny fur. I'd, yeah, I don't really know quite know what to call it either. But yeah, the big dragon head part is pretty cool, right? That looks like that's the right part, but it doesn't really fit on there very tightly. So I'm a little bit wondering about that. But let's see. Anyway. That seems to be that for the time being. Then we've got this part. What the hell part is that? This one. And this will go up in here. And this one in here. Not exactly sure what's going on with that. I think this is like the handle or something for the for when she's holding it. Looks like. And I'm gonna do the opposite and to the opposite side here as well. Be this one. Like that. Uh 
I uh, don't want the armor for the Brave Girl kit. What the? Who's sending me videos? Uh, yeah, similar to the Artemis. Okay, yeah. Oh, you don't have the game? Oh, no, you don't have the game in Australia? That sucks. I mean, it's not the worst thing in the world, obviously, but... That's a bummer that you guys can't play the game in Australia. When I was there in uh, in Chile just recently, I asked them if they had the game there, or I was just I was mentioning something about playing the game, and they were like, "Yeah, we don't have that here yet." So, yeah. The point is that I forget that it's not just available everywhere in the world. Hopefully they do expand it out to some other places. You know, South America release, Australian release. Is it available in Europe? Any of you guys watching in Europe? Is the Gundam mobile game, what is it? Gundam Battle Gunpla Warfare? Uh, is that available in Europe? I don't know. Or is it only like Japan, Korea, probably Hong Kong? and the US. Oh no! So I'm sure this part is right here, but it's really not a tight fit, so very worried about that. Uh, Withery saw, no, I have not yet shown the parts. Uh, I play in the US, it's awesome, and my phone still keeps crashing with the game. That's not good. We play in Canada, so you guys have it in Canada as well, that's good. I assume it's just all North America, or maybe just uh, the US and Canada, maybe not in Mexico. Oh no, what's the deal with this part? Uh-huh, that's the problem. Okay, so. A little bit kind of tricky here with this bar, but hopefully that will stay in place well enough. Uh, uh, FGO sadly drew your attention away from GBGW. I thought about trying FGO just because, you know, I've built a couple of the Petit Treads kits and, like, just to see what it's like. But, I don't know. I don't know if I want to, if I want to go down that road. Oh, you have it in Singapore? Okay, that's cool. But is anyone watching in Europe? I haven't seen anyone answer yet about if they've got the game available in Europe yet or not. Hmm. But maybe just no one currently watching in Europe, so I'll have to wait. I'll have to just ask someone else. Let's see, this one should be here, like this. Don't do it? Huh. There's a really good Star Ocean mobile game? I don't know. As far as mobile games go, I really don't play very often. Like, I do play the, the Gundam game, but that's pretty much it. There's a couple that I play like a tiny bit, but really not much. Let's 
Sorry for working off camera there. It's like I'm noticing just like on the this building this whole section of the kit in general, you can tell like for the main body, they pretty much just copied like the Megami device kits, so everything goes together pretty well. But I'm noticing like for the weapons part, this whole part that they had to actually design from scratch themselves, it's not quite as nice. I can definitely tell the just the quality of the build and just like the the design of it, the engineering of this part of the build dropped off uh, from the main body. It's not as nice. It's still fine, but there's a noticeable difference. It's kind of very like rudimentary, which just means that it's gonna take more work, I think, to to get it looking good. Parts and everything just don't seem to quite fit like as nicely for like a nice stable build, nice sturdy build or anything. I should say. It's not going to be a kit that I think you can really mess around too much with without things falling apart on you all the time. It's how it's seeming to be at the moment. Uh, the build seems a little wonky, about the same as the red astray girl. Uh, so, oak tree... Yeah, um, that's exactly right. Exactly what I was just saying with it being their first kit. Uh, and yeah, the the red astray girl from E model is the one that was, maybe you'd, I don't know if you saw that or not, but I was just showing just a little bit ago uh, that that's one of the kits that I have in my to do list over there from my uh, Chinese armor girl kits stash over there so yeah I, that one I'm not expecting to be you know great sort of similar to the uh, what was it this the the kind of bootlegs frame arms girl kit that was modeled to be like a saber what was the name of that pretty armor yeah that's what it was sort of similar to that where like overall, <clears throat> overall it's pretty good, but it's not like the really the most stable kit, especially when you get to the weapons and stuff. And it pretty much seems to be the case, like I was just saying with this one as well. The main body is fine because they're pretty much all using the same formula. <clears throat> it's just the other companies trying to, trying to cash in on the popularity of these type of kits and just not quite having the execution the quality execution of Kodobukyo uh, do I ever look at my backlog and think how did I get here uh, not exactly like that I know how I got here but I, you know do sometimes look at it and think I'm never going to be able to build everything. <laughs> yeah, certainly. It's got a bunch of these different part, different sections of this, which I guess are going to come together in the end. Let's see here. Seriously, what happened to that 100 scale God Gundam garage kit? Well, that is that kit is a commission as well, which is in line of commissions. I have to do the commissions in the order that I took them. So the Giridogo was first, and then I have uh, a RG Sazabi commission as well that I need to finish before the God Gundam so it's still around it's in the queue 
but it's for a commission, so those have to go in order. I can't uh, really s skip around on those. It wouldn't be fair to the people who got them, the people who are commissioning those. So just have to take them in order. And they all, one of the things that I'm very careful to let people know when anyone is, when I'm like arranging a commission with anyone, is that it's definitely going to take some time just because I have a lot of other stuff going on that I'm working on. So, so I'm very careful to let people know that when they get or are ordering a commission from me, it's not something that they should expect, you know, super quick. But there is kind of that. It's really, as far as I can tell, it's kind of, I guess, how that's supposed to look for the time being. So there's that. We have a few more bits here. So let me see. This thing. Like this. It's going to take time, so like an hour. Yeah, no. It's going to take however much time it needs. This oh it's meant to be like that. Okay. This is kinda of like just this like staff sort of weapon, but you can use other parts combined with this to make it into a kind of bow. But uh we'll just leave that like that for the time being. And so this will plug onto the back of the body, and I'm gonna try to do this as carefully as possible without this exploding and a bunch of parts falling off. which I'm afraid is going to happen. But there we go. Phew! Look at that. Uh, and yeah, there's a small handful of these last little bits here, which are different things that we'll plug onto there. Um, so these parts are just Logged onto here like this. That's pretty straightforward. You'd think. Okay. And other side. And other parts, let's see, this one. Onto here, parts for the arms. I think this is a leftover part. Like this, like that. Uh, so obviously Asura Archer is still my favorite Mecha Musume kit, but Jean Stella Innocent version also has a large longbow. Uh, so you guys are talking about the bow weapon, maybe. Uh, not back if you do facts oh okay he was talking about some shipping options or something uh and uh, where do these other parts go these little knife bits did i miss that somewhere along the line 
Where are these going? There's also the base, which I don't have all those parts ready to put together, but there's a base with stuff as well. Where do these uh, like the knife parts go? These attach onto somewhere? I missed it. Um. Uh huh. Let's see. So these other little bits are just for like plugging onto the knees and the sides of the arms. If I guess then you could plug something else onto there instead of that. So that's kind of just like option parts, sort of. Uh, but as for the knives, ah, uh, okay, there we go. There, yeah, I, I remember. I remember saw seeing somewhere in the manual where those are supposed to plug into. They're meant to plug into here like this here and here that uh, not a very tight fit they seem kind of loose like those are going to fall out of there straight away but those at least are supposed to be in there like that and these parts here for the arms again i'm very nervous about this but we'll just try to get these on without any problems cover up uh, these armor parts here like for the sides of the shoulders so that goes on there like that like that let's just go ahead and take this part off here for the time being as well and the other arm <laughs> yeah I think this is going to be a not very enjoyable review, I'm feeling like. But I'm gonna wait and do the review. I'm not going to record it today. Maybe tomorrow night or something, so. So there's kind of everything for like the main body and everything like that. And you have these other different leftover connection bits and stuff that you can use. Uh, and this part for the knee, which as I said, keeps wanting to fall off. So those are like that. So basically, there is the kit done. And aside from this face being not one of the standard faces, if you get the standard kit, this is pretty much what you're gonna get here. Like that, like that, there you go. Uh, but obviously with the DX version you have um, three more face options but it's actually two more face options and then one blank face so I don't really like that necessarily I don't really like that one of the face options uh, for the DX version is a blank face I think uh, just having a blank face should have just been included with just the standard version just to have that because even with the standard version uh, well actually does the standard version come with water slides I think that it did as far as I can remember I'll have to check to be sure but I think the standard version did come with water slides so I think the standard version should have come with just a blank face but you get a blank face as one of the extra faces with the DX version as well as this face as well as this face with the open mouth which and you don't have any part to go in behind the mouth as well which is kind of odd so I'm not sure how that's gonna look uh, but you have that, and then obviously you have uh, the option part for the tongue of the dragon and the option part for the chest, which you can swap pretty easily here. Oh, hopefully nothing breaks again while I'm trying to do this. Maybe it's a little bit tight to pull this part off the front. Oh, damn. <laughs> Break half the kit in the process. Uh, all right, so that's coming off there. Let's put this back together first. It's also just kind of hard to do this like on camera. 
So it's not like right in front of me, but anyway, let's put the head back on. And option breasts. And you have the cover part which will fit over the top of that like that. So the cover part fits over whether you have like the standard version chest or the DX version chest. The cover is meant to fit over the top of that. But I still don't really like how they made that cover part in the softer plastic because it, I think doing that in some different way to attach onto that, I think they made it in softer plastic so that it fits over the parts. So it has like a little bit of a stretch to it to fit over the chest part, but and they could have done it in a different way so that they didn't need to make it a soft rubber. But anyway, anyway, that's that. Uh, and there's a bunch of different hand options as well. Uh, you have some different hand options. The hand options that come with the standard kit are pretty much the same hand options that come with any standard frame arms girl or Megami device kit. You have like open resting hands, which I have on here, open expressive hands, closed fist, holding hands, and trigger finger holding hands. Uh, <clears throat> but then with the DX version, you also get peace sign hands, uh, like kind of rock hands, whatever that is, whatever you call that and uh, heart hands which make a heart and what was it something else too ah thumbs up hands so with the dx version you do get some nice hand option parts because they're much more expressive hand option parts if you like doing something uh with some like more expression to it uh but yeah for the added price of the dx version like i said i think it let me let me check I know for for us at, at USA Gundam Store, we're not selling the DX version. So if you want the DX version, you'll have to get it from somewhere else. Uh, but let me just check what the price difference was for that, because I don't remember offhand. I think it was like 15 bucks. Uh, hopefully not too much more than that. But let me see. <laughs> oh. uh. to find it first uh yeah so the oh you can also buy the dx parts separately i forgot about that so yeah the the dx version yeah is going to be like almost 70 bucks uh and let's see what about the regular version let's see let's go here uh yeah the dx parts you could buy separately well, let's let's just see how much that cost that was yeah, it was like seven, yeah, like seventeen bucks, something like that, for just the DX parts. That definitely, I don't think that's worth it, unless like you really want to have them. But let's see, the standard version. I forget how much we have it for on USA Gundam. <laughs> what are my cats? Yeah, my cats. I don't know what they're doing. They're fighting, or uh, something. The standard version being more around like $55, so yeah. Uh, I would say, you know, unless you really want the DX parts, if, you, if you're if you interested in the kit, the standard version would be fine for you. Uh, only really spring for the DX parts if you really want them. Now, that said, the nice thing about them is that the parts are compatible with the Megami device as well. So you can use the parts. Uh, let me check. Pretty certain. Anyway.
let's just pull out a Megami device kit here and check. I'll try this in the review as well, but so while we're here, let's take a minute and try this. So this would be the magical girl witch. Ah, the face. I can already tell the face is slightly, maybe slightly different. Uh, just the shape of that. So yeah, it looks like the face is not going to work. At least not with this kit. Let me try a different one. It's the same size, but the connection and just the overall shape of it is slightly different. So it's not really going to work. Now I wonder if I can just fake it and just use the bangs to hold the face in place, even though it's not actually connected in there properly you can sort of fake it like that and it's not really gonna work perfectly but it sort of works so that's actually kind of disappointing I was expecting the faces to be totally compatible but maybe not really as for the chest part though I think that should work fine to be swappable I'm just concerning the uh, parts of the DX version so also uh, the connection fits, but this top part doesn't quite fit. You have that black part at the top of the chest, which kind of gets in the way of this being able to fit perfectly. Now, the connection is the same. So, like, that works, but it's not totally compatible. So, yeah, a little bit disappointing. Uh, that said, I mean, the, these, this kit is not a Megami device kit, so you wouldn't necessarily expect it to be totally compatible with the Megami device kit. Uh, it sort of almost is though, so you kind of wish that it would be, wish they would have designed it in a way that it would have been completely compatible, but anyway, uh, you could switch the heads, of course, I think, probably, because that's just a matter of a ball joint, and even if the ball joint is a little bit not quite right, it'd be pretty easy to just modify the ball joint, making it slightly larger or smaller. That's a pretty uh, that's a pretty, uh, easy thing. So, yeah, uh, that's pretty much it, yeah, for this kit. So, interesting, if you guys have been watching, uh, for a little while of the build, then you should have a pretty good idea of, of my thoughts on it already. Uh, but I'll have the review coming out within the next couple days. Uh, like I said, I have the Dugram review that I'll have out for you guys later today, now that I have to edit that review again, luckily. Uh... And then I'll work on the review of this. And then there's a couple of things I'm going to work on today if I can, if I have time. I'm going to try to also get a review recorded for the Next Edge Style Exia. Which, I don't know how well you guys can see that there on camera. But uh, I'm going to try to record a review for that one later today as well. And then also my uh, the painted Gyarados kit. Record a kind of final review for that, showing you guys just the final painted result for the Shars Gyarados. So that's it for today, guys. Thanks for hanging out. Next week, like I said, uh, at the very least, the live build next week will include the Faz. Hopefully, that's in and I'm able to get it all prepped and ready to stream uh, Thursday or Friday of next week. Uh, but in the earlier part of next week, uh, hopefully Monday or Tuesday, I can also stream something as well. So, probably the Master Grade Marasai. I've got the Master Grade Marasai in the process of getting the parts ready for streaming. So actually, maybe on Monday, if I've got everything ready on time, Monday we'll stream the Master Grade Marasai build, and then in the later part of the week, uh, we'll stream the Faz. So, that's the plan for the time being, but let me know what you guys would like to see, of course, and uh, what you think of the kit. And, yeah, so it for today. Y'all have a good day. Thanks for hanging out. And uh, I'm going to go grab some lunch and deliver some Valentine's Day flowers to my wife. So I'll catch you guys all later. Bye-bye.